Um, hello, and guess what? Today is the day where we have another unboxing, and it feels like Christmas. I can't, I, you wouldn't believe it, but it does. I've got five packages here, all beautifully wrapped from all over the world. I have no idea what's in them. And today is a special day because I'm going to give away my first models. Uh, the the cranes, the eight wheel cranes giveaway is tonight. After this unboxing, we're going to be using the YouTube random picker on the computer, and we'll film it live. So stay tuned, and uh, should be fun to watch. And hopefully your name will come up. So first one is all the way from West Yorkshire, in the UK, and it's from a Mrs. T M Marshall. And what does it say here? Hebden Bridge, if anyone knows what that is. Maybe a, a, a neighbour of yours. All right, let's get into Oh, hang on. This is where it gets dangerous. Today's going to be a good day, I can tell. Because... Look at that. Worked perfectly. What have we got in here? Some cars. Oh, oh yes. Yes, I've been waiting for these. Ah, I bought these on eBay. Yes. And it's actually addressed to our home address. This is not from the PO box. You didn't pick it up from the shops then? No. Oh. So I, I actually complained to eBay this morning about this one. I can't believe it. This morning I complained to eBay that I hadn't received it. Now I'm going to have to jump on after this and apologise. The reason I bought these is because I was doing a series on some aircraft, remember? And I ran out and I thought I might get some more. So these are the same as the other ones, Matchbox uh, Skybusters. And this one here is a Corsair A70. Canopy's missing, undercarriage is loose. In fact, it's a different type of undercarriage to the other ones I've got. I'm so pleased this is here. These are here. Because here, I can reenact the Battle of Britain. So we've got here a Stuka dive bomber. Junkers 87, is it? Yep. Look at that. That's a, actually, that's a good one. But I'd like to do it up in my own special way with a bit of uh, maybe a, a yellow nose and some camouflage it's going to be great say exactly the same color as that one look and here is the piece de la resistance as they say in france france it's a submarine spitfire uh skybusters number eight made in 1973 and what a beautiful looking model or beautiful looking aircraft the Spitfire was, I'm sure you'll agree. So I'm hoping that these two, this one here, will be on, a, on another day, but I'm going to do these two as a pair, I think, and uh, make a good little video about those two. So, so I'm, I'm so pleased they're here. That's good news for me. I've been waiting for those for nearly two months, I think. Maybe six weeks. Right, next one, number two. It's from the USA from Ohio no less and the guy's name is Terry Kidd I'm a bit of a kid myself <laughs> hey this says on here customs declaration knife and plastic cups oh these are little cups I like these they're not shot cups they're special little cups so let's have a look at those there's a few of those there Different type I've never seen before. What are that? Is that? That's a small shot. That must be a European shot. Over in Australia, we have big shots. But that's good because it means that I won't be wasting as much paint when I'm mixing them up. Because the you know the larger the base of the receptacle is, the more paint you've got to get in there. Otherwise, you've got nothing to mix up. Because he's got a little a little uh, base. That means I can put a couple of eye drops of paint in there and I still have enough to, to stir. So those are really good. They're going to come in handy. I should put those in stock in my hobby room. 
that's a fairly that's a decent looking knife what the heck so what have we got there probably about 40 40 shot glasses to go into stock thank you terry let's have a look at your knife oh it's a fairly decent one stainless steel with a sturdy grip Oh, imagine if I cut my fingers live on YouTube. Oh, that is a nasty looking pig sticker or something. <laughs> oh my God, is this homemade, I wonder? Do you know what? There's no brand on it. And it looks like something I've never seen before. I wonder if uh, Terry makes his own knives. I'm going to check that box, see if there's a letter in there. It's certainly unusual. Look at that. Oh, that's a mean... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I'm going to use it on the next box. Test it out. Just double check there's no letter in there. It has a false bottom. Kim Kardashian <laughs> and there's a hidden letter oh, that could have been so easily overlooked let's have a look dear Marty no cows sorry but there's some little church cups oh is that what they are for church I've watched you mix two parts glue oh yeah and a flat bottom small cups for a tiny bit the flat bottom caused you to waste a lot of glue that's what I was saying about the paint we're on the same wavelength. These little cups will save you a lot of glue. If they don't work out, pitch them. Um, there's a kitchen knife in here that has been reshaped to open letters. All ah, right. Watch you open boxes with scissors is dangerous. <laughs> and that's safe, is it? <laughs> Use this knife for that. But I watched you unboxing to get your address and saw where you bought a little box for that reason. Mm. I really enjoy watching your movies. It reminds me of what I used to do back in the 70s. Fix coffee pots and window fans. Uh, but my hobbies went to China. Can't get parts. Oh, of course. Keep up the good work, chap. Terry Kid. Thanks, Terry. Awesome uh, letter. Awesome knife. I won't cut your letter up because I keep all the letters. But I'd like to go like a razor blade to show you how sharp that is because it looks really, really mean. Anyway, I'll try it out in a second. So, awesome. Number three, I'm going to have to move. This is a big box, quite light. And I'm scared to open it. But I'm going to. And it's from Michael Moss from Virginia Beach in VA. <coughs> Plastic bags. Demonstration of the knife. Wow. Plastic bags galore. They'll come in handy. I've got to put those in my plastic bag collection. Look. Wow. It's an empty box. <laughs> no, it's not an empty box. But it looks like there could be a rolled up piece of paper there and some map pins. I wonder what it could be. And I think there's multiple letters. Oh, and there's something here for Julie. She will be happy. Let's have a read of this. Mike Moss. Dear Marty, I honestly can't recall the last time I put pen to paper. And wrote an actual letter, but the printer is on the fritz. 
Um, so here I go, Marty. Greetings from Virginia, USA. I wanted to get a few non-matchbox items out to you as a little thank you for entertaining me for a while now. There are lots of matchbox restorers on YouTube, but your personality is a bit infectious. Your humour and imagination shine, plus your deep affection for the military and police is highly commendable. Good wishes to you and Julie and your family. Kevin too. Hoo -hoo. Okay, another letter to go into the letter uh, collection. Now this here is a package, but it's also a letter. Uh, inside this is a zap or sticker from one of my commands I served in during my 21 year career in the US Navy, fighter squadron. 74, the Bedevilers, F-14 squadron. Wow, that would have been fun. Also, I've tossed in the challenge coin from the Navy Chief Petty Officer community. Navy chiefs are the senior enlisted men, women who are experts in their field, leaders and mentors to younger sailors. Challenge coins are occasionally given as a sign of encouragement or as a small token recognising someone for doing a good job. All right, let's have a look at this. This is right up my alley. Now, I don't want to cut anything because it looks like there's a sticker or something in there. I can, I'm using my x-ray vision. There we go. Ah, now, I do know what these zaps are now. I remember when an aircraft from another station was visiting your station, like because I was in the Air Force, we used to have these, and we would get underneath to do maintenance, and we would stick them on the inside of the undercarriage doors or on the inside of a panel, and that way you'd zap the aircraft with your logo. All right, and it was kind of a thing that went on, a little bit of one-upmanship between different squadrons. So that makes perfect sense to me. And this one here is the challenge coin which he is talking about. And as always, they are really well made and durable and heavy bits of kit. And I love them because they are so tactile and interesting and no two are the same. So I'll give you a close-up of that and that is great. Now, finally, we get to this long... Oh, <laughs> this is for Julie, by the way. And it looks like... It's a bar of child. Well, I won't open it. I'll let Julie open that. She's coming home soon. She's been to a, out shopping with her mother. And when she gets home, probably before the end of this video, I'll get her on camera to open it. How about that? Um, right, here we have a map. And some map pins. Now, this looks like another type of map, different to the other ones that I've received. If you watched last week's unboxing, Michael, you may have been rather disappointed to see that I got a couple of maps. But, no matter, this is a nice quality laminated one. And, I hate to say it, but I don't need any more maps. And, if I get any more, and probably this one included, I'm going to donate them to the local school. I've got to make some inquiries to see whether or not they'll want them. And if they do, I will try and uh, get some footage of me handing them over so that all your hard work has not gone wasted. But this is a nice map. It's really thick, almost card, and it's laminated. And again, it's the same but different. You know, they've all got different colours on them. And it's the classic Elite series from swiftmaps.com. Oh, uh, look at that. It's good, isn't it? But best of all, from Michael Moss, best of all, I was running out of map pins. Now, this will keep me going for at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> Probably a couple of years, I'm guessing. So that's great. I will store those in here up there with all the other bits and pieces, and they'll be readily at hand. Now I can nominate different colours for different countries. And, and sort of get fair income with it. So great, thank you so much for that. And I'll set this aside for Julie. Next one's number four, but I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to this one. Number five is a doozy. I don't know what it is, but it's big and it's heavy and I'm sure it's gonna be cool. So number four, I will save the best to last. Not that any of these are any, are not best, they're all best. <laughs> I never saved the best for last. <laughs> that didn't sound right either. <laughs> oh no. I just love them all, rest assured. Let's have a look here. And remember, without you, I wouldn't have a channel. 
So please keep watching and commenting. Letter? I'll read the letter first, shall I? Hi Marty, I hope these find you safely. I really enjoy your channel, the best matchbox restorer on YouTube. Best wishes to you, Simone from Devon in the UK. Turnover. Three of these models really need a good home and need no work. Oh, wow, that's got me interested. My ears pricked up like Mr. Spock there when I read that. Plastic bags. <laughs> Oh, we've got an original box there. Some good stuff. Julie has just walked in the door and I'm trying to find the, the special package with her name on it. There it is. I hope this survived the trip it says on it. This is from Michael Moss in Virginia from the US of A. Thank you, Michael. <coughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh! Thank you, I'll be eating that tonight. <laughs> oh. Are you going to take your rubbish with you? <laughs> Look at it! I'm going to need these bags to clean up. Yum. Right, now, moving on. Look at this. From, who was it again? Simone, from Devon. See, I remembered. <laughs> now this one here, the, oh, I've never seen a battleship. They're all wrapped up lovely. Another original box there. So this is quite exciting, isn't it? Get these out. That's it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Where do I start? Should I start on this one? The battleship. Because I must say, I'm rather intrigued. <clears throat> right. Never in the field of human conflict. No. Never have I seen one of these before. <laughs> and it is a matchbox. Ah, I can't get over this. Uh, every single video I say, I've never seen this before. <laughs> and this is a matchbox. Big ship. Battleship. Made in 1978. It's called the Sea King. And it is a... Uh, made by Meccano, or... no, <laughs> made in England. <laughs> I thought maybe they bought out Matchbox or something. I actually thought it's a Meccano, and it's uh, hmm, difficult to see. In all honesty, something something Escort. There's a bit of abrasion on the front there, but that's brilliant. That is a real quirky thing that I've never seen before. Look at that, glides across the water like a real battleship. Crazy, thank you. Never seen one of those before. I hope somebody else had, had one of those as a kid and that brings back a flood of memories for them. I mean, imagine taking that in the bath and it sinking to the bottom. <laughs> okay, the Super Cooper Matchbox, number 37, super fast in its original box. And it is in immaculate condition. Wow. Have a look at that. That is uh, weird to say the least. <laughs> the Super Cooper made in 1974. Look at that. What a classic. I'm going to have to start. I didn't want to do it, but I'm going to have to start. This is turning too big for me. I'm going to have to start doing super fast now. <laughs> I've already got a load of Rollomatics on the in the pipeline, and uh, I'm trying to clear the backlog of all the other originals. And it just gets crazy. There's so much to know about Matchbox. I only just scratched the surface. So there we go. That's an amazing thing. Now I'm guessing this is the other one that doesn't need any work. Oh, and this is the. Tire Fryer. They've got some imaginative names for them, haven't they? And once again, this is in unplayed with condition. Have a look at that. A really outlandish. 
mental sized engine, half the size of the whole car. But interesting, different, not my cup of tea, but definitely a collectible. So the tyre fryer with its original box. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Simone, for being so generous and sending them to me. And uh, as you say, I will certainly look after them and keep them in the, those boxes until I die. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Super fast. That's in pretty good condition too. It's a Mercedes 230SL with opening and shutting doors. Lovely bright yellow paint scheme and a red plastic tow hook. Nice. Oh. Oh dear, this one is sad. Oh, there's bits off it all over the place. I think it's the steak truck minus the rear end of the trash. Yeah, steak truck minus the rear end of the base and a set of wheels missing. And the, the back's actually wrecked. That must go on that way around. Like that normally. It's been turned into a flatbed lot. 10 out of 10 for imagination, whoever, whatever kid did that, because they've done quite a good job of it. That's the first custom model matchbox produced, probably. They've turned a state truck into a flatbed truck. Two, two axle, twin axle one. So that's interesting. That's gonna, I'm going to have to think of what to do with that. Oh, that's something I haven't seen. Huh, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to come up with a new line. That's something I haven't seen before. <laughs> At least I don't think I have. I think I would have remembered it if I'd seen it before. Must have uh, spun out at some stage, because look at the wheels on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's cute. Little uh, number 16. No, that's the number on the bonnet. People like to know, don't they? It's a number 34. Super fast. Formula One, made in England. Yeah, it's all a little bit... I was going to say the word buggered, but I won't because it's family content. So it's a little bit stuffed. Ah, talking about stuffed. <laughs> Looks like someone's had a go at stripping the paint off of that and also removing the wheels. Well, that's good. It's giving me a head start on that one. Thank you, whoever that was. Pontiac Firebird. It saved me a lot of time. Now, this one here. Oh, this is my favourite my favorite vehicle. One of my favourite vehicles. It's the BP pickup truck. <laughs> the BP pickup truck. <laughs> hands up, who didn't have one of those? See? No hands anywhere. Everyone had one of those when they were a kid. At least they did in my town. It was the number one bestseller, I reckon. I should Google that and find out which one was. It's a really nice looking model, that. When they're new. Did I, I did one. I don't know. Did I do a video on it? I'm not sure. And this is the last one from Simone in, in Devon, UK. And it is the Corsair that somebody's smashed the windscreen in. Oh, it's, it's seen better days. Ford Corsair minus the boat on the roof, remember? Comes with a boat, a green boat. But nice looking model when it's done up. Have a look. Check out my video on that one. You'll see they come up really nice. One day I'm going to do... I'm saving them up, I'm going to do job lots and give them away. As in, coming up in the next few minutes, the eight-wheel crane giveaway, so stay tuned. Well, thank you for those. These are stunning. This one is unusual, and these all need something doing to them, so that's great. Now, here is the last one for today. Quite a heavy box for its size, extremely well packaged, and it's come directly from uh, Amazon, is it, I think? I read it somewhere that it looked like it had been sent. E email, no, yeah, e parcel, whatever that means. So let's open it up and see what it is. Uh, like I say, it's extremely well packaged. 
Oh, <laughs> knives. I've only just got my pen license. Oh! Can you guess what it is? This is a surprise. An ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> this will come in very handy. God, this looks like a, a proper one. Not like that cheap one I bought. Instruction manual. Cat nearly copped it then. Oh, wow! This looks like the bee's knees. Wow! It's got a digital display on it, which always makes it look way cooler. Look at that! Oh, I thought it started up then. Look at that! Oh, if you are Mr. Anonymous, please send me an email. Let me know so I can give you a shout out. I'll just quickly unbox it. Basically, it's like a, a chip fryer with no chips. I guess I, I've got to read the instructions, of course. That looks like that. Sits on there with the bits in, the lid goes on. You make some kind of settings on the front there, and it must do its thing. So, wow, that's awesome. That is really, really generous. So whoever you are, um, let me know so I can say thank you very much. Because that wouldn't have been cheap to send, let alone to buy. So that is amazing. Thank you very, very much. So what a grand uh, ending to the unboxing <clears throat> video. That's a fantastic ending. Like I said, I... I don't, I don't consciously save the best till last, but that's how it seems to happen. Uh, stick around, because coming up now is the 8 wheel crane giveaway. I'm giving away 6 cranes to anyone who left us a comment in the last 3 days, when uh, after I put up the video on the 8 wheel crane. So we're going to do that now, and fingers crossed, and good luck to all of you. I've got the YouTube random comment picker up. And I've put in here the Earl of my latest eight crane, sorry, eight wheel crane uh, model. Now I'm filtering duplicate users because some people put on multiple comments to try and increase the chances of winning. So I've done that and I'm going to hit this button here. Okay, so what it's doing now is it's uh, getting all the comments that are associated with this video. And I think last time I looked there was nearly 2,000. So it's up to a thousand. So there we go, 2,025 unique commentators. Here we go, start raffle and pick random winner. So I'm going to click on this button and let's see what happens. You may see your name flash past there. Winner! Bailey Atkinson 23. So I write him down. Congratulations, Bailey Atkinson, 23. Another winner. Here we go again. Infantry veteran. Oh. Infantry veteran. Sounds like maybe he's an ex-soldier, an old soldier. Going again. This is number three. Craig Heller. Oh, it's, oh, I should read out your comments. I'd like a model. You are bringing my childhood back to me, Marty. Dinkum. Hmm. Should have read the other ones. I didn't realise they were there. Three more to go. Drum roll. Ka-ching! Jasmine the Lovely Cat. Mm, that's a nice name. Jasmine the Lovely Cat. And Jasmine the Lovely Cat said, Such entertaining videos. Nice that your wife Julie helped as usual. Too true. Now this is number five.
Ben Hampshire. And that, coincidentally, is the county of Hampshire in England where I was born. It's not rigged, though. <laughs> and Ben said, great job as always. Keep up the good work. Right, now number six, the last one for the eight-wheel crane giveaway. Fingers crossed, everybody. Here we go. Start. And the last one to be picked is Jeremy Troy. And his comment was, you came a long way from when you first started and your work shows. Love your videos and will always continue being a supporter. Well, thank you, Jeremy. So there we go, Bailey Atkinson, 23, infantry veteran. Craig Heller, Jasmine the lovey cat. Ben Hampshire and Jeremy Troy. You're all going to receive one of these in the mail. But before that, I must stress, you have to contact me via my email address in my video description to claim your prize. Time to put the pins in the map. So I've got one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, anonymous five, but I've also got this guy here, Park Stevens, who I forgot last week. So I put him in first. He came from Springfield. There we go, Springfield. Uh, Michael Moss from Virginia Beach in Virginia. In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Washington, Washington, it's going to be on this beach here somewhere, is it? I'll just stick it in there. If it's in the wrong spot, let me know. Virginia Beach. Now, Terry Kidd for Ho Ohio. So in here somewhere. Simone from Devon. Well, I know where that is. Devon is on this tip here of... Down here, you know, Cornwall, Devon. Out there is Simone. And the lucky last today is Mrs. T.M. Marshall from West Yorkshire. So I'll just whack one of these up in here because it's getting pretty crowded. It's difficult to get it exact. Jink. There you go, though. All right. So that's the map done. Thank you very much all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. All you winners out there, look forward to getting a package in the mail once you've sent me your, your address. And so until next time, this is Marty saying thanks for watching. Goodbye. You are all going to receive one of these models. Do you want me to run down and get one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh god, he's so slow. It's old. Here, I'm going to click this button, and let's see what happens when I click this button. <laughs> I'm now clicking the button. Shut up.